coming right at us. What is it? It looks like a UFO the size of Cleveland. Welcome back to Retro Wednesday at the Tiberium Hangar. This is Mike, and today I want to talk to you about the Renegade GoBots Base Spaceship Thruster. Now, this is kind of like the headquarters, the command center that we looked at a couple weeks ago, but this is a little bit different. It seems like this is a little bit more advanced in a way, has a few less features, but still is kind of cool and is in that space of the vintage playset. So we're going to have a look at this guy, coming up! So one thing about these Retro Wednesday videos is that I'm having a lot of fun kind of building up displays, going through old things, and getting them out in the forefront. Some of these things I haven't seen in almost a decade, so it's kind of fun getting to this. I really hope you enjoy this review, so let's take a look at Thruster. First of all, I want to take a quick look at the box, and it's kind of exactly like the box that we saw with the command center. It actually is a little shorter, but yeah, this one's a, got a little bit of damage to it. It was 20 bucks back in the day. It has the actual item on it, but a, kind of a fantasized plane there. That looks like the actual toy. That looks like it's just drawn in. It's kind of interesting how that was done. Shows you the main play feature we're gonna see here in a little bit. You got some stuff on the side of the box and kind of just shows you more of the same. And in the back is kind of like the Star Wars line drawing that they had. It's pretty cool. It shows you all the features, kind of fun. Starting off in the spaceship mode, it actually does look pretty good in the spaceship mode. Now the one I had that was in the box, and I've had two of these for like a decade, maybe even longer, didn't have any stickers applied. And I'm going to leave it that way with no stickers, but it looks pretty good and it's like almost brand new, this one here. Uh, it actually comes with the wing attached to it and that's kind of cool. I'm going to swap this one out with the one that has the stickers, but I think this one looks just a little bit better. And as you can see, this one with the stickers has a lot more play wear with it, but it's just kind of a trade-off. You're going to get one with the stickers and the play wear, or you're going to have one that looks almost brand new, and uh, I'm not applying 30-year-old stickers. They haven't been applied yet. They're not getting applied to this. One of the major problems I'm going to show you is the wings. The wings actually attach right here, but as you can see with this, this little piece here has broken off so you can't really attach wings. Now I can make something work. Uh, it's kind of a toy fixer thing. I could always make something work with it but I'm not gonna bother because this is gonna be in display mode in base uh, at the end of all of this but it's kind of frustrating and then the side that's not broken doesn't have anything in it well but it's it's on its last leg and about to fall off so that's kind of a major problem with these. Also the pieces themselves break so it, it's just a big challenge with this whole set Getting the wings working intact, not broken, that's a problem. And the stickers have some wear, but they're pretty good. I try to restore them as best I can. You do have some stickers in the front here showing what looks to be like some computerized stuff going on. Looks like almost a face right there. You do have stickers on the top of the ship, and it just adds some color to it. It makes it look a whole lot less bland than the one we were just looking at. So stickers are really important. And then that's kind of part of the problem, like cleaning these. Uh, I ran into cleaning up the command centers, and even though I had them for a long time, and cleaned them up, and I messed up some of the stickers doing that, so I was a lot more careful this go around. We see some detail in here, which kind of looks really cool. And, and it's just one of those things, it looks like a much cooler looking ship than the command center, in my opinion. Here it is from the back, and from the back view, the back view would actually look a whole lot better. If you attached the wings to it, it would make it look so much better. But you got this detailing right here. One, two, three, four, five. Kind of the same kind of thing that had some numbering going on with the command center and sliding it around to the other side. More of the same. So the big party trick for this guy is to transform it up into the base mode. Now, there's a couple of things that aren't really going to work very well, even though the instructions say you do it. But the first thing you're supposed to do with this guy is lower these pieces here. When It took me a while to get them lowered. When I do lower them, 
one of them doesn't really want to stay up. But we're going to try to do it the right way. You lower this down here. Now you have access to, see, it's, it's falling. You have access to these arms to do some stuff with the arms. And uh, I just don't see how to keep this thing up all the way. Unless I completely take it apart and tighten the screws that hold it in. But I'm going to, through the review, just keep it kind of flat like that. I can lift it up just enough to get the arms out, but I don't really like that at all. I mean, that was a bad idea to start. It definitely didn't hold up over time. So this feature here where this latch goes into this hole here, and it holds the cone, the nose cone on, and that opens up to reveal this head. Now this head, I think it looks better than what they did with the command center head. It's kind of cooler, but it's just different. Maybe you just chalk it up to it being different so with that here he is in his base mode or is this base mode a she they did have quite a few female characters in the GoBots line looking at the top section we kind of have a control room in here and it's got some nice stickers and background going on to it and then you can kind of see a screen and some more computer stuff going on in a chair now the chair to me that's got to be Psykill's chair so if you look at the way the chair is designed, it really looks like it's made just for Psykill, but I bet you you could fit a couple of different types of figures in there. Any of them that have that leg, same type of leg movement would work. But this chair rotates around, and yes, that trapdoor likes to fall, and he can be doing some work, and then he can turn around and do his evil, maniacal laugh. Ho, 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 ho. That's not a good Psykill. Anyway, there is that. The next you see, this keeps falling. It's the trap door. And maybe he doesn't like what Tank is having to say. He can pull his trap door. Now, this trap door is real fiddly for me. So let me try to... I'm just going to leave him, I guess, in his other mode. And then you're supposed to pull on this to get it to fall. But it doesn't always work. Anyway, when it falls, it falls down into this. So we have Tank in what's called the Ion Upgrade Cell. Uh, so it's a cell, whatever, it's kind of interesting. But for that, this could be kind of like in the other one where they had had a prison or whatever. You have to use a lot of imagination, of course, with these things and this little partial piece here. So looking at the rest of this level two that we have going on here, we have the sticker right here showing level two, alert. Uh, looks like we've got a fire extinguisher there. That's interesting. Uh, it says right here, this is the data extractor and then a thermal scan and then some more other interesting stuff it just looks very interesting on the inside especially if you have these stickers applied you're going to notice next that we have an elevator we have crasher in said elevator now the thing about this elevator is you can go all the way down to the bottom and i think you could actually if the the legs worked you'd actually see it go even lower if you could the legs could support it you could sort of see something going on there. Maybe in a car mode or something, you could go up and down, but I'm not really too concerned about that. But here is Crasher going up to her level two. And in this elevator, it looks pretty cool. In fact, I kind of think this is just a little bit more of an advancement than we saw with the command center. And I do like this elevator a little bit better simply because it feels like a real elevator, not just a platform going up and down all of it. Now squeezing it again and taking it up to the top, there is Crasher. It works well. It depends on the figure that's in there, but most of them will fit really well. It looks like it's made almost exactly for Crasher though, just the whole design of it and everything. I've been having problems with stability with this thing, so I took this blue piece off and I think it really holds well like this. I mean, really well, just like this. Now, the next feature I wanna show you is going to be interesting. Now, I'm gonna, I'm, I might have to adjust the volume on this, but. Once you turn it on for about a few seconds there, it is, I guess, resetting and it has, it has a motion sensor. That's actually really cool. A motion sensing diode, I guess, is I think is what they call that. I, I don't know 100%, but I do remember motion sensor parts and pieces from the 80s. 
They made a lot of like Stormtrooper room alarms that use that technology too. But it's really kind of cool, but can get annoying very, very fast. It does take four AA batteries, and I actually like this function better than the command center function. The last feature has to do with the arm. And this kind of a grabbing feature, and it can hold a figure. Uh, that is kind of cool. Uh, I didn't, I didn't really realize that these arms were going to hold very well. You might have to tighten the screw to get it to hold better, uh, and I might do that. But I'm not, I don't think I'm going to even display it like this. But it's still something cool to have, and it, it looks like a robot. I mean, is it a guy or is it a girl? Who knows? We'll never know. But at least it has some arms here to grab Crasher. Since I did point out that these action robo figures that are that are what four inches tall instead of however tall these figures are the two and a half inches three inches whatever uh that it worked with the gobot command center it doesn't work very well with these these figures are just way too big for these two levels maybe if you had this guy standing down below it would work and i probably will have him displayed in my display standing down below and that might be how i do it that's really the only place he would fit but Nope, you can't use the modern figures with this set. This has been my review of the Thruster, and I now have gone through both of these playsets, these bases, these vehicles for the GoBots, the original vintage GoBots, and I think it's been a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed them. If you didn't watch the previous one about the Command Center, go check that one out. Let me know what you think about either one of these bases in the comments below. Like and subscribe. Tiderium Hanger, out. That my ally on Earth knows my impending arrival. Psycho's getting away! <laughs> <laughs>